southwest Iceland has erupted. As thousands converge to bear witness. That's how this volcano started. Releasing streams of lava from under the Earth's surface. Hi, we're Holly and Luke. We dropped out of college to chase our dreams of filmmaking and traveling. We wrote a list of our top 50 countries, and now we're documenting our travels abroad. As soon as we heard about the volcanoes, we booked our flights and knew that Iceland should be our first country to visit. Follow along as we explore the land of fire and ice. which I just said wrong. We are hiking to the volcanoes, which just started erupting about two months ago. So we are here at the very beginning of what could be a whole new era of volcanoes and go for potentially hundreds of years. About a year ago, I came to Iceland on a work trip and I met my friend Zach here. He's a local. <laughs> and he is taking us to the volcano. The volcano's name is <laughs> right now we are starting what is supposed to be about an hour and a half hike and we are headed to see as close as we can get to the lava field. I'm so excited! hard to believe if you look at the sky behind me and that is because we are in Iceland in May next week is June 1st and so the days get longer to the point where the Sun will never set in just a few weeks so right now we're experiencing almost 20 hours of daylight which is amazing as opposed to obviously if you visit in the winter then you're gonna see mostly darkness hopefully it will darken a little bit Molten rock in there, and that is where we're going. Oh my god! So this cone, apparently only a few weeks ago, was five separate cones, and you can see one in the distance that's still separated, um, but they've each thrown out so much magma that they've grown together and morphed into one giant opening, which is what we are seeing here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and this is how it's done.
there's a little opening or a vent or something right here that just opened up. We are heading back now and are going to hike back to the car. It should take hopefully under an hour to get back, but we'll see how long it actually takes. The volcano was absolutely incredible. Probably one of the most interesting things I've ever seen with my own eyes. And I highly recommend if anybody is out here when it's accessible to come out and see it. It is almost 2.30 in the morning, so we are ready for bed. We made it back to the car, and as you can see, we have passed sunrise already. So thank you guys for watching. We 